Hi guys, tonight we're gonna make some stuffed bell peppers using just the ingredients that you see here, plus maybe a little salt and pepper. But dinner's gonna come together in less than 30 minutes. Let's get going. Okay, y'all, let me walk you through our grocery list, starting in the meat and cheese aisle. We've got a little Mexican cheese blend and some ground turkey. Over in our veggie aisle, I bought four bell peppers for two of us, so we'll each have two. Some jalapenos, avocado, pre-diced, love that, yellow onion, and some riced cauliflower. You can buy that in the frozen section as well. And then lastly, in our pantry aisle, we've got pinto beans, taco seasoning, and tomato paste. Okay, four steps to making our stuffed bell peppers. First, we're gonna prep our peppers by cutting off the top, scooping out the middle to make a nice little bowl. Up next, everything that we've got to cook, our meat, our rice cauliflower, and then we'll season it with all the flavorings that you see. And then last but not least, we'll stuff our peppers with everything you see here, some pinto beans, and we'll top it all with cheese. We're gonna wait to slice the avocado on top right before serving. Okay, to create our bell pepper bowls, you're gonna take your peppers, lay them on the side, and we'll chop off the top. Then really carefully, use your knife, and just kind of scoop out the seeds really gently so you don't cut into the sides of the pepper. Now, I wouldn't even cut on the bottom. Just take your hands and kind of pull out the seed bundle and any remaining yellow or white pith that you see. So then I'll just repeat that for the next three. Any remaining seeds, just flip the pepper over, give it a little spanking, and they should slide right out. So next, I'm gonna prep my pan. I'm using the eight by eight. I've pulled off just a piece of tin foil that's a little bit bigger than the pan. And I place that in for easy cleanup, that's all. If you wanna use the pan, go for it. But I wanna to toss this away right after we're finished. So I will then spray my tin foil just so nothing sticks. And then right in go our pepper bowls. Up next, we'll create our filling. Okay, I have our oven heating up at 375. And in my skillet, I'm gonna heat up just about a tablespoon or less of olive oil. Once that's heated, in goes our turkey and then our taco seasoning. After the taco meat has been cooked, we'll place it into a bowl and in that same pan goes our cauliflower and Mexican rice. Once everything's cooked, we'll mix it together with some cheese and we'll stuff our peppers and then top with just a little more cheese to get nice and bubbly. Our pan is hot. In goes our turkey meat. We're just gonna brown the meat until it's no longer pink and we'll add in our taco seasoning. Okay, it's been about three minutes. Taco meat has been browned, so in goes our low sodium taco seasoning. Sure to combine and add a half a cup of water in. We'll let that cook two minutes. Okay, our taco meat is cooked. It looks and smells delish. Came together in like five minutes. So we're just gonna take it out of the pan, scraping as much out as you can, but don't worry, we're not gonna even clean it. In next goes our onions, starting to flavor our Mexican cauliflower rice. Okay, I added just a touch more olive oil to our saute pan, and I've added in my diced yellow onions. We've got a full onion in here. That's what the package says. Um, so that's gonna cook down for about two minutes just to soften and get a little more translucent. And then in goes our rice cauliflower. Okay, while we wait for our onion to soften, we're gonna cut up our jalapenos, and they'll go right into the bowl with our meat. So I've sliced off the top, I'm gonna keep one with seeds and one without because these little suckers have been half. So the one that's staying with its seeds can just move aside. This one will slice out the center and then we'll chop them all up into little minced pieces so that you're not getting a big bite of jalapeno. Check it out, I've just added my cauliflower rice to my skillet. I'm just kind of combining with my sauteed onions and we'll let this cook for another two minutes or so, seasoning with some salt and pepper. After about two minutes, you can tell the cauliflower rice has started to soften and turn colors. We're gonna add in two big tablespoons 
of our tomato paste. And we'll just stir that all in, starting to flavor our Mexican rice. And then we'll be ready to stuff our peppers. Okay, in my mixing bowl, I've got my one pound of seasoned ground beef with our uh, taco seasoning. I have a can of pinto beans that I rinsed. Um, our two small jalapenos, one seeded, one without. And then just about a fourth of a cup of shredded Mexican blend cheese. And then to that, I'm gonna add just half of my cauliflower rice into that same bowl. And we'll gently toss everything together before we're ready to stuff our peppers. Y'all, this meat mixture is so good. Flavorful, has such a nice kick to it. So I'm just gonna show you really quickly how I stuff my last pepper. With a big kitchen spoon, go ahead and scoop some in. Try not to spill over the sides too much in your pan. We just don't want those to get too crispy at the bottom. And just gently stuff your peppers till you've reached the top. And then we'll place our peppers in. We're gonna add a little bit more cheese on top and we'll put a small amount of water in the bottom of our pan that'll help steam the, steam the peppers from the outside. Okay, so we ended up using about half of our meat mixture for our four whole bell peppers and half of our cauliflower rice. Now you could double the recipe and do eight bell peppers for a bigger setting, or what I'm gonna do is just combine all of our leftovers for a nice taco rice bowl tomorrow. Maybe put it over some lettuce. But you have all this already made for you for leftovers for lunch. There you have it, you guys. Just about 30 minutes later, we've got dinner served. Our cutie patootie stuffed bell peppers, full of flavor and heartiness, low carb, but high deliciousness.